Well, good day, everyone. I want to talk about the idea of being left behind. That's uh, that's spoken a lot these days. There's been uh, some movies and TV series. It's called, I think one's called Left Behind, or there was a movie that came out that talked about the rapture. And this word left behind, it's uh, this word right here in Greek. It's Strong's number 4035, and it's pronounced perilippi. It literally means left behind, remain, survive. It's a Greek word found in the New Testament, and it's located in two places. If you could read Greek, then you would immediately know where it is. But right now, unless you don't read Greek, you're going to be you're going to have to wait a little bit till I show you where it is. Which you might be surprised to see where it is. So the idea is the rapture is going to occur. Take the faithful folks off the planet, uh, meet the Lord in the air, and then those who are left on the earth are left behind. Uh, this is the rapture verse right here. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, verses uh, 15 and 18. Let me go ahead and read this for a second. I know most people are familiar with it. It says, For this we declared to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left, until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of a command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, we should encourage one another with these words. So let me go back to, the, to my study here. So the question is, where do you think this word left behind is? These two verses in the New Testament that I was talking about. Oh, you might be a little surprised. There it is. The word left behind in Greek, that word I was talking about, is actually found in the rapture verses. It's in two locations. For this we declare by the word of the Lord that we who are alive, who are left behind until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of a command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, so that means there must be a lot of people dead, who are left behind, will be caught up, raptured, together with the dead in Christ, to meet the Lord in the air. So what can we... What can we decide with this revelation that the left behind are the ones who are raptured? That's a twist on everyone's thinking that this verse here has to do with the left behind. Can you fathom that, this, uh, this issue here? I mean, nobody would ever think that. I, I couldn't believe when I came across this and saw that this, I thought this was the time. This is when everybody wants to leave. Well, the word rapture here, caught up, is violently kidnapped. So the question is, would you rather be violently kidnapped or transferred into the kingdom of heaven? Let's look at these verses here. So the question is, what are these verses down here? Colossians 1, 11, Hebrews 11, 15, 1 Peter chapter 2. What do they say happens to a group of people? And these this, these people that are that it talks about, they seem to they seem to be faithful. They had the testimony of the Lord. Let, let's let's read it. So, if you read Colossians one thirteen, Paul writes, "Who who has delivered us from the power of darkness?" Some some translations say the realm of darkness, and has translated us, not raptured or delivered us into the kingdom of our dear son. That would be Jesus. Now Enoch, if you've read the Old Testament, you know that God took Enoch. And a lot of the English translations use the word translated. He wasn't raptured. People say, oh, the church is like Enoch. Enoch was raptured. He not, Enoch technically wasn't raptured. He was translated. It says, by faith, Enoch was translated, not raptured that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. God didn't violently kidnap him. He was translated. 
For before his translation, he had this testimony that pleased God. And then we learn in Second Peter that there appears to be a chosen generation that would be the, the most faithful of the faithful believers in Jesus, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that word for called is kaleo. It means I call, invite. And it actually is related to the word ekklesia, which is church. And the word church in, in Hebrew, uh, I'm sorry, in Greek, literally means the called out ones. So when you say I'm going to church, people think that's a building. But technically you're you're part of a group that's being called out. So the question is, if somebody's called out, where are they called out from? And 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 says that this faithful group of folks of Jesus followers, they are called out from the realm of darkness into light. Colossians 1.13 says that we are delivered from the realm of darkness and we are being translated into the kingdom of of heaven essentially. So what I would say about all this is that you don't want to be raptured because if you're raptured then you've been left behind and you're actually going to be here for a short time. It's called a, it's called a time of trial. If you recall the Lord's Prayer, Jesus said, save us from the time of trial. So these folks here, they were saved from that time of trial and they were delivered, translated like Enoch called out from darkness, I would say the three days of darkness that are coming, into heaven. But this group here, these left behind folks, they weren't called out of darkness. They were stuck around here to experience testing and trials, just like the Laodicean church. They had to hang around a while. Or the church at Smyrna, I think it was. They had 10 days of tribulation. So, with that said, Go ahead and consider where the word left behind is and decide whether you really want to be raptured and be left behind or translated into the realm, I'm sorry, translated out of the realm of darkness and into heaven. Anyway, consider these words. God bless you guys.